Hi everyone. I'm really liking doing box opening videos. It's um, pretty entertaining for me. So I have two boxes that came in the mail today and I'm wearing my scarf because even though it is really bright and sunny outside today, I just went out. I was actually outside with my kiddo for a little while after he got off his school bus and the mail truck came and um, I'm freezing. So I just am still wearing outside gear, even though it's really a beautiful day outside. So just going to open up these two boxes. Um, these are not my usual box openings. I usually do um, ball joint doll stuff. And lately I've done a couple of Digimon ones and then the Sakura Co stuff. But um, this box, you can see, it says Fluff Nest. I know it's backwards because of the camera. And it says, made to love. This um, company came up on my feed because a new friend that I made through the ball joint doll groups J.R. Crumb, I am calling you out. <laughs> um, he liked this company, so it came up on a feed on my Facebook saying, hey, your friend likes this, you should check it out. And of course, I liked it too, and I ordered something, so here it is. This, on the other hand, uh, it says it's from Asylum Gaming, which I think is something I ordered off of eBay, and I hate to admit it, but I don't even remember what it is. So this is kind of a mystery. This I know what it is, and as an aside to this, I think my ball joint dolls are going to be very sad that none of them are here as my little helpers to help open this box because they're all going to love it. They're all going to want it and I want it too. So we'll all have to share. So let's open this first and then we'll do this mystery box in just a minute. So Fluff Nest, look them up on Facebook. They're there. They popped up as an ad, but they have a Facebook page. They are basically just um, really adorable um, plushies and I don't do plushies like ever. Um, they take up too much room. I love stuffed animals as a kid and I just tell myself, no, I cannot, I can't have room for them. I have books now. I have figures now. I have dolls now. There's no room for stuffed animals. My kid doesn't like stuffed animals. So I'm like, no, but this was just too cute to resist. So let's look at this cute pink stuffing in there. Look at this thing. It's already fluffy just by looking at it. So let's see how fluffy the fluff nest stuffed animal is. Oh my gosh. I can already see it in here and it looks so adorable. So I'm just gonna open it up right with you. Ready? Here we go. Bring the stuffiness out. Oh my God, look at that big fluffy head. He's like, love me instantly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being so childish. I love stuffed animals. I just don't allow myself to have them, but I couldn't resist this. So let's just look at how adorable this thing is. Okay, sorry, I'm like squealing like a little girl. <laughs> oh, and there's a little, oh, sorry. I'm like moving the whole table there. And my nose is running because it's so cold. Um, so, adorable pink fluffy stuffing paper. Ginormous, big, stuffy. Look at it. It's bigger than my head, okay? Look at this thing. It's huge. And it's a little three-tailed fox. That's what it is. That's what I wanted. I They have several um, different types. And now that I have this and I know how adorable it is, I might go back for more. I'm terrible. If my husband sees this, he'll be like, why did you get that? Anyway, I think I told him the story about being brought onto this by another group member. Again, calling out, JR. <laughs> there he is. Um, this is really nice. That like nice, um, I don't know what's that called. Not stitching, but um, it's like the sewn on patches almost. Oh, and then the nose is kind of like a little hard nose, but it's like velvety soft. Um, comes with a little swing tag. It says Puff Pals and Fluff Nest. The Puff Pals are a friendly family of love and fluff. When you hug your fluff Puff Pal, we hope you feel the love that goes, has gone into making them the best friends and family they can be. Thank you for spreading the Puff Pal love. Love and fluff. Fluff Nest team. Wow, that's a lot of love and fluff right there. So this um, Fluff Nest plushie that I'm referring to it as, um, I guess they're called Puff Pals, it is named Kichi, a prolific artist. Kichi is equal parts floaty fool and intelligent idealist. She takes a while to get to know, but her friends all say it was well worth the effort. So there you go. Fluff Nest Kichi the Kitsune. Ultra adorable. Very quality, very squishy, very soft. Four little feet. A nice flat base for it to sit on and just sit there looking adorable. 
Um, the cute little multi-tails of a little magical creature. Very recommended. So let's see what this is. It says Puff Nest, and it has a thank you, and it says Hats Inside for the Puff Pal. So let's see. It's kind of close with a sticky. It says, ooh, look at that. There's a code right there. Use code FLOOF for 10% off your next order. They know that once somebody gets one of these, they're going to want another because look at this thing. Sorry. <laughs> It says, welcome to the family, Puff Pals. And there are, not to care for, it gives you care instructions. And these are hats to make. So there's a baseball cap. I guess these are mini. So you cut this thing right out and you follow the instructions to fold it and you can color it however you want. So there is a baseball cap, a little like wide brim hat. A little like cone shape hat like I think dunce hat but it could be like a party hat clown hat whatever it's cute and then I don't know just another little a small brim hat and then probably my favorite a little top hat I guess you can color these however you want cut them out and rest them right on top of your little puff pal so you know this is this company is fluff nest which is just adorable. Um, and these are called Puff Pals, but you know what they make me think of for childhood toys from my childhood, which I was born in the 80s. And so I grew up in the 80s and 90s. Just saying Puff Pal makes me think of um, Puffimals. If anybody remembers those, my sister and I each had one. I had a pinkish, purplish cat. I think my sister had like a yellow bear. <sighs> Oh, the good old days of just being a child and having stuffed animals. I had so many stuffed animals, I slept on them like a bed. Um, and then as I grew up and was able to afford things on my own and started going to anime conventions and stuff, I mean, you see adorable things like this everywhere in anime conventions. And I always told myself, no, 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 don't have room. But I couldn't resist, but this is pretty big. So even though they gave me another code, even though I really think it's adorable, I don't know. I probably should limit myself to one. Then again, like I said, all my ball joint dolls are gonna be like wanting one each to like ride on. Look at this thing, it's huge. Okay, so I'm just gonna combine this other thing, this other mystery box with this box opening. Um, but this is adorable. Highly recommended, very nice quality and super fast shipping. I think I ordered this like, I don't know, a week or two ago. Um, they gave me a confirmation email they gave me a shipping notice email and it arrived today. So very nice. Very adorable. Oh, let's just set them over here to the side. No, no, no. I'll set them away. I'll, I won't be able to. I'll be distracted. So again, this is Asylum Gaming. I think this might be something off of eBay. Maybe. I don't even remember. I am so terrible. I've really ordered a bunch of random things lately and I don't know. So mystery package. Still don't know what it is. Can't tell from there. Um, Package within a package. Rattles. Nothing else in there. It has a strong kind of scent. I don't know. Maybe it's the packaging. Ugh. Let's see what's in here. Oh, darn it. I'm going to need scissors. Well, I'll just have to rip it. I don't know. I should have brought my scissors over there, but over here, but they're way over there on the other side. I didn't realize I would need them. I opened up the box and I thought that'd be good enough. Oh well. Okay, everybody just watch me struggle here. <laughs> I'm getting it though. Oh, this is not eBay. This, oof. Okay, this is really cool. And I'm glad I opened this. Um, this is actually a purchase from um, a group member in a page that I'm on, a group page I'm on for, um, Digimon fans. It's called Digimon fans. And, um, they print, they 3D printed me, um, a couple of things that I really wanted. Um, not highly impressed. <laughs> okay. I like this, but I don't love it. Um, this is really, uh, okay. So let me explain what these are. Um, but it still might work once I paint them. So, Digimon fans, this person posted up that they do 3D printing 
of various items and they, they had a couple of items that they had shown that they had printed and so I was interested and said I, I would try some of those. And so if you're familiar with Digimon at all, um, there's several seasons of anime, there's all kinds of card games, all kinds of merchandise. But not a lot of stuff for the couple of Digimon that are my favorite, which happen to be um, Angelomon, Gatomon, her evolution line. And then um, it's Kazemon, or I think she's referred to as Fairymon in Japanese, um, from Frontier, which is season four. And then Angelomon slash Gatomon, she's like in all the seasons. So she has a little bit more... Um, merchandise. Um, but I was looking for something 3D printed to um, fit for my ball jointed doll that I have um, that I'm trying to make into kind of like a Gatomon digivolving into Angelomon. Um, anyway, so I asked him to print um, some tail rings for her. And these that's what these are. Um, I had somebody previously print, um, some tail rings. These are not perfect. There, there's definitely some, maybe it's misprint or whatever. Um, but the tail rings are good. They're, they have the right, the right design. Maybe I can like file them down a little bit and once I paint it, it might be good. But it has like the Digimon symbols that are on Gatomon's tail ring. Um, and I discovered when I actually had somebody print this before and they went to go look it up, um, her tail ring it has these symbols on here from the Digimon alphabet, but it literally just says Digimon around her tail ring. <laughs> That's what the symbols stand for. So he actually gave me two, which is really cool. Um, neither one is, I would say, is perfectly printed. There's definitely some, um, you know, extra piece. I don't know. I don't know. even know what you refer to it as because 3D printing is still so new to me. Um, but you can see there's a little bit different in the images here. There's like, or the pieces... This one has more of a pronounced like lip to it, and then this one is more um, just one solid like cylinder. Um, but both of them look like they would fit the tail of my little dear mind ball joint doll, which is who I wanted to put it on. I, the last time that I had somebody print one, I gave them the completely wrong dimensions, and I got a ring like this big. And the the doll that I have, the tail is like you know, just a few centimeters around. So this is definitely the, the accurate size, um, but probably it's harder to get those finer details into such a smaller piece. So I'm pretty excited about this. Even if they're not perfect, it's um, better than anything I could come up with because I was thinking about just going and buying like a lug nut from a hardware store that would fit over her tail and, and seeing if I could, I don't know, craft it somehow. I'm not a crafty person. I'd love to be, but I'm not. Anyway, so got them on tail rings. And, um, so it's Asylum Gaiman is, is the name that they have on their box. It was just a nice person. I don't remember their name. I'm sorry. I wish I could thank you, but I'll just say thank you, Asylum Gaming. Um, and I'm not saying these are bad quality at all. They're great. They're perfect. They're exactly what I asked for. Um, the printing is maybe not 100%, but very, very fair pricing. And besides that, they actually had originally listed, um, this is what they had posted about that they could make available. So I asked them for this extra, and they, they, they came up with the uh, 3D printing file for it, and they printed it for me, and really fair prices. So for the price that I paid, I think this is fair quality. Um, and then this, again, this is Fairy Mon, Kazimon. It's like her little, um, I don't even remember what they refer to it. It's not the Digi Egg, something, Spirit, Spirit something, Spirit, I don't know, something. I haven't watched Digimon in a long time, but... I, he even offered to paint it for me, and I, I said, no, I'd like to paint it myself. So um, I get to file down these little pieces, which is totally fine. Again, very fair price pricing for, for the quality that I'm getting here, and I've never seen anything like this anywhere. Not on Etsy, not anywhere else. This person just happened to post in my Digimon group, and I think it's really cute. It'll definitely go with my very few Digimon figures that I have, which are like all Angelomon and Gahaman. Um if you can see, I'll give you a little bit closer look here. You can see, and, and my phone never focuses properly. But um, it's little Kasemon, the little fairy mon, Digimon. She's so cute. I adore it. And it was really a great price. Um, 
I don't know if they have a Facebook page for their themselves for their three three D printing services, but it's called the Silent Gaming. Maybe I don't know, but I'll link them on the Digimon Facebook Facebook group. And um, so that's it. I have my cute little fluff and some couple of three D printed Digimon items made especially for me um, from a very nice person in my Digimon group. So thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you soon with another fun little unboxing or whatever I come up with. Bye.